Hello, WineAppers. My name is Jesse Meekum from WineApp. It stands for you need a budget. You do, so you can pay off your mortgage if you want to. I will discuss today five quick steps to pay off your mortgage. One, pay more. I forgot the other four. There were five, pay more. Pay more on your mortgage. I can't think of the other ones. If you have more money and you've budgeted, pay more and then, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. You just pay more. It's not even five. It's one, but I can't make a five out of a one easily. Number three would have amazed you, but it's just one. You just pay more. The big question, and I know I sound like a broken record, but the big question is, do you want to, right? And why? People will say, don't lose the mortgage interest deduction. 70% of taxpayers don't even itemize. They don't even take the deduction, right? So that completely goes out the window. The other 30%, that consideration is part of your math consideration. You know, should I, shouldn't I? We have rental properties, a couple, and we carry mortgages on those. They're very modest, and, and that way there's some cash flow, right? But uh, we carry mortgages on those that are, that are to my liking, right? They're not too big. They don't, they don't stress me out, and that's key. When I was 25 or 4, we had a little baby, and I wrote down on a note card, stuck it in my wallet, pay off your mortgage before you're 30 years old. I didn't have a mortgage at the time. I wanted one. Well, I wanted a house, right? And the mortgage that came along with it, I wanted to get rid of before I turned 30. We bought a house in 2008, middle of 2008, and close to the end of 2010, which is right toward the cutoff, I paid it off. We finally did it. Now, it took a lot of intensity. The house was pretty empty. We didn't buy furniture. Uh, really at all, and it, the house, house kind of echoed quite a bit. Um, it would, it, people thought it was strange. Um, but we paid it off. It was a big goal of mine and Julie's to pay off the mortgage. It may not be a big goal for you. One of our YNAB team members, she's working on paying off her mortgage. She's excited about it. It's a big deal. She's looking forward to the freed up cash flow. It is, it's awesome. I've lived that. Now, on the flip side, I bought the YNAB house and I basically took out a mortgage uh, for that instead, so I'm back into mortgage territory, although the mortgage is a lot smaller, so it's nice. But, again, what do you want? So I know you're getting tired of me coming out here every Wednesday saying, oh, uh, if you want, do this, if you want, do that, if you want, do this. Listen, I, I can't give you prescriptions. I can only prescribe one thing. One, budget as frequently as needed, no less than monthly. Number two, if you're sharing your finances, make sure you're talking about it, budgeting together. Number three, raise your awareness levels by recording what you spend on your phone when you spend it, okay? Stay on top of things. Get psychologically involved with the spending, okay? So you've got this awareness at a great, healthy level, and then, Dial in those priorities. Make them concrete, solid priorities. So if you decide to pay off the mortgage, you're doing so with all that awareness. And you're able to say, yeah, going in eyes wide open, like this is what I want to do. This is what, this is important to me. And some of you may say, you know what? I have little kids. I have a long life to live. Um, I've got money going all sorts of places, doing all sorts of things I love. And I'm content with the mortgage, you know, being paid off when it's paid off. That's cool too. I personally don't do that, but I'm not wrapped up in your priorities, right? So if you're being honest about that, if you're following that prescription where you're dialing in those priorities concretely, some of you will say, oh heck, yeah, we're going to pay that thing off as fast as we can. And others of you will just kind of say, ah, we'll let it be paid off when it, you know, when it will. Some of you will take a middle of the road approach and you'll be like, well, we'll add a little extra or maybe we'll put our quarterly bonus toward it or whatever it is. I just I round up on the rental properties. I just round up the, the mortgage payment to the next hundred, right? And that's just one way of me kind of throwing a bone toward the idea of having those properties eventually mortgage free. But the, again, the idea is just, you gotta be true to your priorities. And that's the hardest part of personal finance. But if you follow that prescription, you'll be in tip top shape because you'll be making the best decisions for you. You are, as I've said a lot of times, you are your best 
financial advisor. I will see you guys next week.